Omo kan lati ninu we Jeremiah ori keta verse 15 ese ike dogun Jeremiah 3:15 we Jeremiah ori keta ese ike dogun it says and I will give you shepherds according to my heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding Jeremiah ori keta ese ike dogun ka ba yi pe emi o si fun yin ni oluswa ikutan gege bi ti ina mi ti yo fi imo ati oye po yin so i'm speaking on shepherds after god's heart o ma so lori akori to we pe oluswa ikutan gege bi okan olorun that's right shepherds after god's heart oluswa ikutan gege bi okan olorun and we know that the bulk of the old testament is about the people and land of israel from genesis chapter 12 till malachi chapter 4 but if we genesis ori kejila this is the ori kenin we malachi and if you take uh, those uh, books and chapters from the bible there is no old testament and that's why we said that the bulk of the old testament is about israel as a people and their land and you know that um Yes, although Israel today may be anti-Christ. Uh, they don't like Christ. They don't worship him. They are even legislating against preaching about him in that land. Um, you don't blame them. You don't, you don't blame them. Uh, you only have to sympathize with them. Because the Bible says there is a veil that is cast upon their face. And all we need to do is pray that this veil will be removed. But we need to appreciate them, although today they are antichrist. But um, we wouldn't have been able to understand what we have come to know about Christianity, about the faith, if not for the people and land of Israel. God gave them to us. Um, through them, we see the symbols, the figures, the similitudes, and um, types, uh, which are nothing but a shadow pointing to the substance. Okay, they dealt with the shadow, we deal with the substance. But if we didn't have those shadows, there would be no pointer for us to follow to the substance. So we need to pray for Israel. There is a particular church or a denomination I'm not going to mention for years, for thousands of years, uh, they have always thought that people should hate Israel, but that should not be. And when you talk about and when you look at the events around the world since October 7 last year, 
you will see all sort of anti-Semitic waves. That's waves against the children of shame. Anti-Semitic. Um, all over. You see university students, even in America, in Europe, those whom you think will be in support of Israel, they went about protesting against Israel. And that tells you of the um, uh, what we're going to have in the future when the real antichrist will appear we're beginning to see a taste of what will happen during the reign of the antichrist so in your prayer from time to time remember Israel and, um, the uh, land and the people as I've said, as I've said earlier, they are known for two major occupations two major occupations number one is agriculture the other one is shepherding and uh, you know that patriarchs uh, in the Old Testament were known for that Abraham had um, his cattle uh, he, he had um, all other creatures like that that uh, he had to deal with. Isaac, the same thing. Jacob, the same thing. And uh, when Israel, as a people, were emancipated from the uh, Egyptian bondage, they went with their cattle so until they settled in the land. So they are known for these two things agriculture and uh, shepherding. <laughs> And uh, the shepherd's occupation is uh, one thing that the scripture talks about from time to time, both figuratively and literally if we are conversant with the Bible. Um, we know that uh, literally we have seen the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and so many shepherds uh, in Israel. Literally speaking, the Bible tells us so much. And uh, figuratively too, we have literal shepherding, we have figurative shepherding. I told or We are all familiar with um, um, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
You know, that's figuratively speaking. When David um, presented himself as the sheep of God and uh, the Lord being his shepherd, that's figurative. David and you know that the same David when he committed adultery with um, Bathsheba and uh, he thought nobody knew um, the prophet of God confronted him with his sin using the illustration of a man with uh, eh? so many sheep and another one with just one sheep. That's it. So that's figurative. Figurative, okay? literally speaking, we know that there were shepherds in Israel who were good, compassionate, kind uh, who are given to risky taking and are uh, ever prepared to protect uh, their sheep even literally they're very courageous, very observant, and uh, their spirit was very much uh, opposed to the other spirit of, yes, others who, in the eyes of the people, could be considered as shepherds, but they are nothing but higher lanes. uh, that is akin to what God says here shepherds after God's own heart because shepherds literally are known for some things courage okay sacrifice they are known for watchfulness faithfulness risky taking and so on and so forth and that's what God says here. He made a promise to the people of Israel. He said, I'm going to give to you shepherds. Not hirelings, but shepherds after my own heart. Uh, and um, like we have said, there are others who are hirelings. Okay. Uh, even not just liter literally figuratively too, hirelings. And these are nothing but uh, a terrible misrepresentation of what a true shepherd must be. Okay. David was a shepherd in a sense. Over Israel. Over Israel. Israel. Take Ahab, another king in Israel. You know, 
uh, in going to war with the king of, Assyri of Syria, rather, you remember uh, the faithful prophet Micaiah said, and I quote, said, I saw all Israel scattered on the mountains as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, this have no master. Let each return to his house in peace. Why? Yes, why? Why should they return to their house? No shepherd. Oli mekaya olo toni o so ninu aso tele ti o so fun ahabu oba ni ba ton bere pa fe lo sogun oni ohun ri awon omo israel ti won tu ka lori papa bi agutan ti oni oluso ki oluku lo pada si ile re kini ere di re lori pe o si oluso agutan ti o se so lori won i hope i pray that it shall not be said of us uh, that those who come to our church they will not hear the word go to your house because there is what? No shepherd there. there. You know, Ahab was there. Was the and yet, and yet, the prophet said there is no, no shepherd sometimes I've, I've always said it on the pamphlets program pamphlets uh, our names written the pastor in charge superintendent in charge zonal superintendent this is a superintendent regional superintendent but the question is are we in charge Ahab's name must have been written on some uh, billboard the king in charge but the voice of the Lord was that uh, what eh? no shepherd you ask well, somebody is sitting on the throne somebody is um, wearing the crown but the judgment of God is that let people go home because there is no shepherd may that not happen to us amen ni awon iwe to ta ma se ni awon ijo wa o te si bi iwe o le so agutan na ton sa ko so ijo alakojo na to wa ni sa ko so agbegbe alakoju to ekon kekere abi ekon nla abi ti regioni ton sa ko so sugbon se be lori ni tooto abu nsi n be lori te bi oba ta so pe ka won yen ikoluku ma lo le re ri pe ko si o le so agutan o ba laduwa pe iru eyi ko ni je ipen wa toruko jesu zakaria chapter 2 says for the idols speak delusion the diviners envision lies Zechariah 10 2 and tell false dreams they comfort in vain therefore the people went their way like sheep they are in trouble because what there is no shepherd that's what the bible says Lady, we pray to Ria one who is at in sorrow as son. And while that was a city, a gay, one is a raw, a lie a gay, one to name, you know, last son. Little dinner, one party, one lobby, a wearer. I share one niche, little dana dana, who see, my show. What a pity. They are in trouble. Oh, I know, last ago. Today, souls are in trouble, families are in trouble. Um, businesses are in trouble. Uh, the destiny of people are in trouble. Why? Because there is no shepherd. You want? Yes, there are pastors. There are those who are promoted. There are those who are ordained. There are those who have taken the holy order. There are those who wear the uh, clerical wear and so on and so forth. But the Bible says they are in trouble because there is no shepherd. Yes, there are diviners are mentioned here yes listen again idols are there they speak delusion diviners they envision lies they tell false dreams they comfort in vain and because all, with all this verse says therefore the people went their way like sheep they are in trouble because there is no shepherd don't we have pastors don't we have evangelists don't we have prophets today everybody wants to become an emergency prophet 
a visioner, a dreamer. We are not in death of all this. We are not, there's no want of this. We have all sort of church officers in great supply, large supply. But where are the shepherds? And if there are shepherds, where are shepherds after the heart of God? They are in trouble. Many souls are in trouble today. Even under us. While we are there. While we preach. While we teach. While we pay visit. While we do our vigil. The Lord says. They are in trouble. Why should people be in trouble when we are there? When God said to Adam in the garden, Where are you? Eh? Say it again. Where are you? It is not because God has any problem with any geographical template. God is omnipresent, He's everywhere at the same time. He knew where Adam was, but the question, Where are you? This is not the Adam I made. Where is the man in you? Where is my strength in you? Where is that grace in you? No, this is not the Adam I made. So where were you when when this thing when the serpent came in? the question you know we are in charge in charge of this but where are we where are we when those things come into the church those untoward things come into the church where are we so when sometimes when matters are brought before us I, I, I know when Baba Kionshin was our president Sometimes when we hold meetings, meetings like this, general executive council, general council, a consultative meeting, as the general superintendent, then I was always sitting by his right side. And when some people speak, when they talk, when they contribute to the spirit of the meeting, even if it's, it's about settling matters, disputes, and down your barrow jaw, when people talk, Baba Kenshin will say to me gently, he said, Bo Lile Jedalaga. How did this one become a superintendent? So sad. So where were you as superintendent when those things were happening? You know, these days, you know, sometimes we receive um, all sorts of requests, transfer this, post him out to. If I have a business, if, if I have a personal business and I place you somewhere, and you didn't perform. You, you didn't perform. You are just a hireling. I like bashi. Just looking for your. You, you, eh? 
eh, for your for your salary at the end of the you look for the sun to go down that's what the book of job says Say like the servant that always looks for the sun to come down four o'clock people have to close at work when it's going to be they're always in a hurry because they are hired for wages and if we introduce this type of thing to the ministry okay, just my pay packet somebody was talking to me recently I said Shemo to buy a lay and to lay me so me the very limit to me my good word that care to bamba me sorrow that him back who's on gaga oh ni major me lori okay you see sometimes I don't know you see somebody told me they said ah, so that I can, I can get something to eat. So that's the ministry. So we're in the ministry, in the ministry, so that we get something to eat. Should that be our first concern? It's so mad, but okay, what reply do you want me to give to that kind of person? I just kept quiet. And when he finished, I said, Well, the Lord bless you. So, because Allah might came, she saw. People will want to push you to some extent. So, and that is the kind of uh, spirit in some of us. It's about eating, about drinking, about that car, about that house, about that promotion about that elevation but we are talking of shepherds after God's own heart where were you Adam so and, and that's the reason why sometimes when reports reach us of how you you are the one you set the house on fire the house the roof over your head you are the head of that place and you set that place on fire so if I have a business and I put you somewhere, you behave that way, you want me to transfer you to another place to, be, to continue to do the same thing? God will not judge us right. That's why we say, let him go to the seminary. For what? Retraining. Retraining. Where are you calling? Maybe you are not trained enough. Go back there. When you misbehave, when, when, when uh, the reports do not favor you, say, okay, go and retrain. If it's about, about higher lean, about what we're going to eat. And I've always said it. If we send you something somewhere and you are upright, we'll back you up by the grace of God. You won't look back and, and, and see that we're not there. We'll be there for you by the grace of God. But you can spoil your own case when it is discovered that you're only fighting for yourself, for your mouth, for your stomach. Where are you? The Bible says they are in trouble because there is no shepherd. So, is there any trouble in your zone, in your district, in your district? Why should it be? You should not be because you are there. And God will ask you, Where are you? Where is the man in you? Where is the Holy Spirit in you? Where is the Christian virtue in you? If people are not going to be in trouble, we need to rise up to the occasion as shepherds after the heart of God. Ni opo igba awon mo nto wa wa e pe me ko ni e pe me lo soun ata ba te wa ki esi ta wo dada a ri pe awon na ni ori sun la asiko ibi ton wa mo ba ni ise ti mo da de fun ara mi mo wa fi o sibe ba ri pe ise ti o ya ko mo nse o se bo ti to o se bo ti ye te pe igbe aye alaga se lo npe I want to be on to you. 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 I want I let her feel what the man are. Lolo, I want to not down on some different one. At about the poor or no, be one. Ah, I want to make a quarter city a call. 
kan lo tun e koko boye ko tan ko tele ni won o ran ti mo abe ko tan ko ni won poju osun won kan lo tun e koko ka to ma ki la se to ma den rojo won won yi a won kan fo wole ran won ma go mo ko mo ba face pelu won ti won so ati to nbe ninu mi o mo je pe ru awon eyan be o pa to jo woli ile mi lori won o ko jo lori oke kan lo ma gba duwa le mi lori won o ti be kuro e o sele ko fi ma nwo ran to ma de ti rojo awon tan oni da olohun ni fi nle olohun ro pelu yin o sugbon ru awon eyan be nigba ta ba tun won ko tan a to ma wo ki la se ni pase won a iru awon eyan yi ni oro olohun so fun pe la be won ni se nsi awon eniyan bi alabo tu wa gbe pe alabo tu e pe ki ta bi ekun nla se ise o ma se awon eyan la be wa to ba nri be a je pe a yi ti se o lu su agbotan gege bi o kan olorun you know in the breast thank you so much in the breast of every person in their heart in the breast of every person male or female white or black educated or illiterate irrespective of race and color but in the breast of every person is the sheep nature ni aya olukuluku eniyan iba ajo okunrin tabi obirin omole tabi agba eni to ka yo tabi ti o ka alawo dudu tabi alawo fufun e da agun tan be ninu wa did you hear hear that what's there in her heart huh sheep nature e da ti agbotan what about the sheep ke ni agbotan hmm a sheep agbotan want to be fed ama fe ama bo listen to david the lord is my shepherd that is it i shall not want that's in the heart of everyone the sheep nature we you you, you who will say i shall want who want to say that and the best of pe but that line what does david say say here i, I shall not make you say that line that's in the in the heart of everyone but i shall not want e yin be lokan olukuluku eniya pe mo ni salai ni makes me to lie down in green pasture is in the sheep nature to want to lie down where e da agotan ni ba ti fe dukule ni papa okotutu he leads me beside the still waters o mu mi lo si ha o mi ti o da keroro ah we are told that uh, uh troubled water sheep don't drink from troubled water As it has to be what eh huh? still he help me da kerora igba te ba nja nja ochi yin when when in fighting and no sort of things are there you want sheep to remain they don't like it's not in the sheep nature to want to drink from troubled water eh ki she e da gotan that's the moment ni bi ti o ma di amari o don ho o mi to daru o mi to daru Huh? It's in their nature. Still water. They want to lie down. down. They want to. They want to crop. Or, uh, 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 they, they, they they graciously crop the grass. Okay. They lie down beside still water to drink. It's in their nature. Restores my soul. And, and so on and so forth is is in the nature of every sheep all we are talking about and, um, it is look at look at the sheep for example it, it's about the most silly the most silly creature yeah silly you you put put the sheep uh in um what, what do you call them we uh, ranching okay ranch them okay put them in a secluded place just to keep them yeah there is only one gate okay entrance okay when they want to come in you will see some of them putting their putting their heads 
elsewhere other, other than the what huh? huh? other than the gate it's in their nature what God need where there is no way they will put their heads there so it is now the duty of the shepherd huh? to say no 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 that's not the huh? but we, show us, the song, but us, we just look at the sheep of God the church members when they want to put their heads where there is no way we even encourage them carry on do it. Go ahead. Whereas as a shepherd, we need to put them through. Paul, Paul said, rebuke them how? How? Sharply. Sharply. But when we giddy giddy. FM only, your name, Lara, your me, with that in Jolua. You don't buy it. At the Bamoye, we encourage them in all terrible things they want to do because they are sheep of God, silly creature. But we have a duty if they're not going to be in trouble, we have a duty to them as good shepherds. <laughs> Give them supplies. Give them comfort. They, you see some of them, they still wander. They wander away. That's the, natu that's the nature of the sheep. Give them everything. Why would, why would a sheep be lost? What's he looking for? Elsewhere. The grass is here, the water is here, everything is here. But it's in the sheep nature. And every person here on earth has in his breast, in his heart, this nature of the sheep. Um, we have a hint of pastoral unfaithfulness in the words we have all gone astray like what sheep without yeah it's a uh, it's um my, uh, my, my goodness um it's a minus it's a minus to our ministry when we hear that yeah Sheep, many times, they are in the peril of devouring beasts, wild beasts, looking around, looking for what they will devour. That's our duty. Um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In some climes, in some climbs you see shepherd they will employ the service of the shepherd dog shepherd dog the dog will always be with the sheep to fight against wolves and other wild beasts and you know the wolves wolves are clever Wolves will pretend, okay, and mix with the fold or with the flock. That's what wolves do, okay? They walk like um, huh? the sheep, okay? But the Bible says, <laughs> what are they inside? Devouring wolves. That's what they are. But the sheep will not know. The sheep will think, ah, this is one of us. And they'll be flocking together. But with the shepherd dog, that will not, because the, she, the, the dog will distinguish the wolf from among the sheep. So the sheep, in their nature, they are unsuspecting. They are unsuspecting. They don't, well, you are just part of us. They don't suspect you. They think you are one of them. 
But the duty of the shepherd is to separate them. So we see a hint of what shepherds do, like seeking the lost, uh, carrying those that are wounded upon uh, uh, his uh, shoulders, uh, those that are broken who heal them, and um, all of them, those are still standing well. He still takes care of them. So the work of a shepherd is not easy at all. La ra ise o lo so agutan oni la toju awon agutan re ko bu oro si awon ti o ba ni farapa ko pe awon mi leji kai lati ma ni lo ninu rin ajo won awon ise won yi ni ise o lo so agutan ki se ise ti o ro run rara sugbon oju se wa n ta gbo do se and that was the concern of people like Moses yi ni on to mu laya iru eyan bi Moses listen to him at 30 se on to so in numbers 27 no we no mary ori kesa de ni 16 and 17 Moses said, let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation who may go out before them and go in before them, who may lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be like sheep which have no shepherd. You see the shepherd's heart in Moses about to die about to go hmm. but he was very much concerned uh, about who succeeded him hallelujah hallelujah hmm. again you know we meet only once in a year so I've got to see all this and I'll say this I want to say in the, in the, in the uh, movie in the movie I think it is um, um, is it the Bible is it the Bible or so uh, when in the movie I didn't say the, the Bible says it but that's the title of the movie I, I think I watched it in the 1980. Uh, when when Moses, oh, after all the plagues, all the troubles, then God eventually delivered Israel, and um, as oh, as as soon as they went out of Egypt, singing the song of emancipation, you know, about three million of them, six hundred thousand men from 20 years upward not counting children 19 years downward and the women about 3 million people you know when they when they are out in that movie i watched that film with baba olusha here baba kesulure at ibadan in little Ubadi's house when those people were out Moses now went. You will look. You look at sea of heads. Okay, freshly, newly emancipated slaves. And Moses now went aside somewhere in that movie. He held on to his shepherd rod like this. 
put it down and he lifted up his eyes up and said Lord where will I get food for all these people where will we get water for them and I remember Baba King Suleri said, said yeah. ah said this is, a, this is a shepherd indeed said look at the spirit of a shepherd when we were watching that film that's what shepherds do his concern was not about himself how will we feed these three million people how will they drink water that was his concern until we begin to imbibe this type of spirit okay many will want to come to us it's about post us there, there post us there promote us so, 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 what for is it for because of you or because of the church many have become so frustrated especially because of this promotion of a thing okay I told our superintendent yesterday our babas somebody called me Pastor Adigo called me from a woman show a few days ago and appreciating us for the promotion of Pastor Obiwale okay and he said something that actually hit me he said not all the princes will become a king he said but they will remain princes forever that's a very good spirit you can die before your time if you think that ministry is a frustration unto you to a local sonny become to a problem but you're alone but you're young but okay how many times have i told you i told my people sunday i get up i told my father say 44 years ago i was ordained 17th of march 1980 I, I didn't know i was coming to this place and if I didn't come to this place, as 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 God did, as, as God as God done me any wrong, I was a month short of fourteen years. Fifty-five years ago, when I entered to the ministry, at age thirteen plus, with uh, my little portmanteau, I've I've said it in the past. I'm repeating it. My portmanteau about half the size of about half of this lectern when I go down at Oduono Monday 28th July 1969 and I crossed to the other side to go and start my training under about Mudino it was an excitement that God called me how then will that which was an excitement for me then become a frustration I won't allow you to frustrate me. I'm not frustrated. And when things began to happen, what is the matter with us? By the grace of God, I, fit, I, I spent four years as Tule. Went to the Bible College. 30 of us were there. We, we graduated in 1974, 50 years ago. I was the only one retained to teach. Cholom why wouldn't I thank God if I didn't become president of CAC? So what? From among my peers, he did that for me. I, I, when I got my passport in 1976, I, I, about preparing for United Kingdom, somebody came to me and told me some stupid vision. He said, the Lord said, you will have made progress more than this. If all you have to do is go and go and buy some salt and distribute to some people, I said, I was then 21. 
teach. I, I began teaching the seminary at the age of 19. So, uh, so along will teach you me to bang. That's not good enough. So, and I was having in my hand passports preparing to go to England. You are saying I would have made progress more than this. What other progress? Oh, le pate me je pelu oran re na o. You can't frustrate me. E mi mama ma listen see na kiran. You know na dan dan. She along with she to for me. I went to England at 22. I was ordained 5 months short of 25 years. Along with she re to. God has done so much for us. Uh, and when it, it, in those days, in the days of deputy general, superintendent, deputy general evangelist, I've told you nine of the students that we taught in the seminary were promoted as deputy. This deputy does. We were left behind, passed by, not mentioned, not remembered. So she te me bagenu to require one timo konle we what the deputy general. So in any <laughs> I remember being with Reverend Bolly or a pastor family day, Bolly from America. So we hosted him in the same house and uh, we were going for a seminar at Adama Zimba. And on my file, I wrote A G S, Oladi Lake. Bolly from America, Reverend said, He said, You know what I think your this A G is? Assistant God. So, do we want to become assistant God or deputy God? So what? And uh, we were doing our work then joyously. We get to any meeting, Baba Dovi, Dovi and others who attend DGS who say, "Ah, okay, okay, come and sit down." I say, "No, that's your turn. That's your chair." Mama, I run no malo carry so to rikwe in kankanuti debami. Tim tabati kungo. And uh, shepherds, shepherd, let us, the, the, it should be the work, the work, the work, the people, the people. Moses said, where do I get food for all this? And uh, when he, that's what he said. And when he was to die, they didn't treat him well. They did. Go and read some, some, some passage of the scripture. One, 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 that says, and it went ill for Moses because of them. But when he was about to go, he began to bless. He began to pronounce blessing. They didn't treat him well. Because of them, he did not enter into the promised land. And yet he began to bless. And said, God, the God of all the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. Who may go out before them and go out, go in before them? Who may lead them and bring them in? I know I'm not going to be part of them anymore. That the congregation of the Lord may not be like sheep which have no shepherd. Let us rise. Let us rise because of the time. Let us rise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give me a shepherd's heart. Shepherd's heart. Shepherd's heart. I want to be a good shepherd, oh Lord. Father, give me a shepherd's heart in me. Let us turn it to prayer. Let's, let's pray. Let's pray. Let us pray. A shepherd's heart. Shepherd after God's own heart. Looking for the interest of God, the interest of His people, not just our own thing. A shepherd's heart. Let us pray. That's the spirit we want. That's the spirit we want in Christ's apostolic church. Those who are of the heart of God. 
awon ti won je lu sawun gan gege bi oko olorun who cannot be frustrated by whatever happens awon ti o nko nko le da won lokan run the think of god the think of his of his interest oluwa fun ani emi olusuagu tan o give what a shepherd heart emi olusuagu tan is shepherd heart olusuagu tan rere who shepherd that's what we want that's what we need on ti ani loni yi Egbadua o pray That's what we want. That's what God looks for. The shepherd's heart. We pray in Jesus name. Olorun o pa orun ye ma soro ni ba ni o tun ba wa soro be lo ni ara kuni o toni o puto ba wi fu o hoko lai go do ma se bono sa bono sa bono Father, we are grateful unto you. Thank you for the entrance of your word that giveth life and understanding to the simple. Lord, we thank you for this message. Thank you for the messenger. We have been told in today's message that if we don't behave like God, we we'll behave like God. Thank you, Father, for the power, the potency, and the efficacy of your word. That we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to be a true shepherd, a shepherd after the heart of God. Shepherd that are faithful, shepherd that are available, shepherd that are submissive, shepherd that are teachable, shepherd that can be depended upon, shepherd that are reliable, that can be trusted by God. Lord, we ask that you give us the grace in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have failed you in time past. Many of us we are self-centered. Many of us we have ego. Many of us lack concern for the sheep. Many of us we have claimed ownership for the church. Many of us we are doing whatever pleases us and things that are not pleasing unto God. Daddy, we ask for your spirit because we know it is the spirit that quickens the flesh, profited nothing. Lord, I pray that from above you will fill us with your spirit in the name of Jesus. We receive your word this afternoon with thanksgiving. We receive grace. We receive anointing. We receive power to run with the word we have heard this afternoon. Father, release that grace upon us in the name of Jesus. In every area we are failing in time pass. We pray for pardon. We pray for forgiveness. We pray for cleansing. And Lord, we are entering a new covenant with you from today. That we shall serve you and you alone. Lord, we are entering into a new covenant with you today. That you and you alone will shall please all the days of our life. Lord, we want to be like Moses of old. We want to be like Abraham of old. We want to be like David of old. We want to be like the apostles of the New Testament. We want to be like our fathers in this church. The patriarch of this church. They had concern. They have they had love, they had compassion for the sheep of the Lord. 
they were not self-centered. Father, we ask for the grace that you bestowed upon them in times of old, that you bestowed upon every one of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. We hand over our Father to your hand. Lord, I pray for more fuel, more vigor, more anointing, more grace, more strength, more revelation, more insight from above. Lord, I pray you give our daddy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.